Good morning, all of you. Welcome to sample video for Azure infrastructure. So let's open a slide. So let's talk about my introduction first. Myself, Mr. Kumar, and I have 11 years experience into AD Exchange, SCCM, SCOM, and Azure infrastructure. And I'm certified on all these infrastructure courses and certified trainer as well. I'm a SME designer, speaker, and involved in multiple roles. So today's topic is Azure Active Directory. So, so let's talk about uh, what is Active Directory as a component and how Active Directory fits into Azure infrastructure. So Active Directory overall talk about on-prem, on-premises Active Directory and on-cloud Active Directory. So I'll just give a brief about Active Directory. Active Directory is a component which deals with authentication, authorization, and access for all application and resource. So Active Directory is a database where we keep all users, inform user groups, computers, all organization information as an Active Directory database. So generally we are talking about AD. So we use AD on 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, 2012 R2 on on-prem servers. Now when we talk about Azure Active Directory, this is the same level, same purpose, authentication, authorization, and access. But this Active Directory is, is on Azure. That's why we call it as Azure Active Directory. So now question comes, why we need Azure Active Directory? Or why we need authorization under a cloud? So, so whenever we have an application running on cloud, like Office 365, uh, Skype for Businesses, so we need some level of authentication on cloud. So that's why that authentication is done by Azure Active Directory. So, so that's the purpose, you know, oh, we required Azure Active Directory. So let's talk about uh, how Azure Active Directory and on-prem, on-premises Active Directory will, will comes into a picture or how it, it work together. So there are two scenarios. One is we don't have on-premises infrastructure. We have all application on cloud. So in that case, we don't want on-prem Active Directory. We are happy with Azure Active Directory only, which is called only the cloud-based authentication. So there are second scenario where we have already have on-prem Active Directory. And on top we have Office 365, cloud-based applications. So at that point, we need Azure Active Directory. So the combination of on-prem and on-cloud, which we called as hybrid. So hybrid, we have to do in a couple of ways. One is hybrid with single sign-on. And the second method is does sync. So we'll sync all Active Directory information from on-prem to on-cloud by Active Directory, Directory Synchronization Tool. We'll talk about that thing on in later stage. So now Active Directory is, as I said, it's a part of uh, your organization, all your users, groups, computers, and information stored into the Active Directory. So that's the reason we have to create a Azure Active Directory on, on cloud login. And then further, we have to do the management of users groups. And we can manage all this Active Directory by the two methods through a portal, through a PowerShell. And further, we already discussed that if we already have an on-prem, we have to sync all on-prem users into on-cloud by using directory synchronization. So that I'll show you in the demo in later stage. So let's take a demo. So I logged in with Azure portal, manage.windowsazure.com. So I'm creating my new Azure Active Directory. So which is a part of your app services, Active Directory, directory, and custom create. So it should be a new directory. So, so logically, this directory should be unique under a cloud 
for entire Azure Cloud data center. So, so I'll take it demo 99 for a time being. And domain name also demo 99. So demo 99 is already used. So 9989. region United States so further this is a custom demo custom uh, directory in Azure on top we can add our, our public domain like abc.com or, or whatever you know our organization domain so so active directory is creating so successfully created so scroll down a bit and active directory so we have demo 9989 so we'll manage all this uh, one by one first of all users so first of all I'm already logged in with my portal account so that's why the one user is already there so you can add other users new users user one so domain is demo 9989.onmicrosoft.com so user one user one call user one and what type of roles you want to do it we'll discuss later on what types of role we have and and active directory have one feature called premium active directory where we have multi-factor authentication so right now we are not enabling that and create a new password same way we plan with the group later on we'll discuss so now <coughs> this user this user belongs to user1 demo 9899 so my organization is abc.com so that's why we have to add a public domain abc.com and add So we have to verify this, you know, abc.com by by public DNS entry. So so wherever you register your domain, GoDaddy or, or some other sites, you have to create this txt record, and then you have, can verify. Once you verify this, so what happened? This user, this user. will get a new domain called abc.com as per your production domain so user1 at abc.com so I'm not going to verify my domain at this moment so I hope it's good uh, and thank you very much for watching a sample demo